Can we slow down, please, not full speed? Can we slow down, please, not full speed? Yo, what's good? It's your boy Turks, and welcome back to Turks' Kitchen. Today, obviously, as you can see from the title and a little intro video, what we're going to be making is Turks' cheesy chicken garlic stick. It's very nice. We're going to work on that title because I'm not quite sure. We might rename that halfway through the video, but really simple, really tasty. I've prepped all the uh, ingredients, so it's going to be a quick video. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. These are the ingredients that you guys are going to be needing today. So we're going to have parsley, fresh parsley is always better, mozzarella slices, diachrenstik, garlic, we got the chicken breast mini fillets, one egg, butter, this is lemon and cracked pepper breadcrumbs, you can get normal breadcrumbs but I like the little twist on it, the zesty twist, you know what I'm saying? And just a little bit of sea salt, uh, sea salt. And that is all the ingredients that you guys are going to be making. Well, need to be making this, uh, the French cheesy chicken garlic stick, you know? Woo! Right, guys, this is the fun, messy bit. So we have our chicken. I've gone for six bits, <gasps> as it's just for myself and maybe one other person. Breadcrumbs in the bowl. Our egg yolk all mixed and ready. So we've got to dip the chicken into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, onto another plate. So let's see if we can get this into the camera. Bob -bo wash. Voila, was a bit of chicken. Into the egg. Lovely jubbly. Straight back out. Into the breadcrumbs. Feel free to use your fingers, I just don't really like using my fingers. So, I'm just gonna get that nice and covered. Like so, give it a little shake onto another plate. So, I'm gonna get cracking with this, and as soon as I've done, I'll be back. Boosh. Right, guys, so this is the last. You can fill it. Perhaps we're going to the breadcrumbs. Woohoo! And these breadcrumbs really do smell lemony. Proper good. I've got these from Sainsbury's, but I'm pretty sure Morrison's, I know, does it. Tesco's, as does. I reckon they'll all do it, to be fair. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated. You see, I'm not using my hands, so I don't really like touching raw meat. Plus, I'm going to be touching the camera and stuff. Once it's coated up nice and evenly, put this with the other one. Lovely jubbly. Tied up as you go. Yes, mum, I know. And now we have. Let's move that one out of the way, isn't it? Our breaded mini chicken fillets. Our oven is preheated already. So uh, let's go get the dish out. Right. Safety first, put the old hot glove on. We now have our chicken in our oven tray dish, whatever you want to call it. It's now going in the oven. 180 degrees. Is it 180? Yes, 180 degrees. 
and we're going to cook that until it goes golden and basically cooked. Um, not too cooked because obviously it's going to go in the oven again but we're just going to make it pre-cooked so just nice and golden. Not crispy yet, that's the later bit. But yeah, so as soon as that's done we'll catch up then. So, sweet! And uh, I suppose while you're waiting for your chicken to be done, you can get your butter out and make that room temperature, melt that to room temperature. Cut up your parsley, uh, dice and finny, well as finely as you can your garlic. Um, get your mozzarella cheese out and you can cut your breadstick as well into three even, even bits. And take out the inside. So I'm going to show you on one of them and then yeah, you'll get the gist of it. So when it comes to taking the inside out, I'll just get a nice bread knife, stick it straight in there <laughs> and just go round the edges. And obviously this is the best bit so make sure you eat the middle bit and we'll get the kiddies to eat it. And it comes out in like a big, it's like a corn on a cob. <laughs> So yeah, and then the same on the other side. There you go. We have one hollow tree trunk basically <laughs> and then once the chicken's done we're going to get that out wrap up the chicken in the mozzarella and stuff it in here and then obviously our garlic and herb dressing garlic sauce basically will go on top back into the oven and we're basically there so yeah I'm going to get on to do these other two you can do yours and we'll catch up in a bit okay hot gloves back on time to check this chicken Getting a little bit crispy on one side, so we're gonna turn it over. Cool, mate. Let's turn these bad boys over quickly. Bosh. Stick that back in there for another 10-15 minutes, let them go them up on that side a little bit. And then we're going to get to the wrapping. There you go back in. As soon as they're done, I'll be back. Right guys, this chicken should be done, it's been about 15 minutes. Safety first. Oh mate, that's the, that's the smell on it. It's the lemon! Oh! Goodness gracious! Nearly swore. Oh, there we go. So we're going to leave the on, uh, onion on. We're going to leave the oven on. We're going to turn it down a little bit to 150. So now that's done, what we've got to do is wrap this up in the mozzarella. So, let's get another plate. So, I'm not going to touch that because that can be real hot. And then, what we're going to do is get two bits of cheese and overlap them slightly like that. And then, grab a bit of chicken. Oh, crispy. Bang, bang, chicken. Stick it right in the middle there. Let's move this over a little bit. And then we're going to fold this bit up. Fold this bit up. So we have a parcel. And then we're going to get our hollow tree trunks. 
and literally just stick it straight in there, like so. And then we're going to put another one on the other side, repeat the process with all three, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Sweet! Right, now that's done, and we have our three chicken and cheese. Ah, we thought of a name as well, so these are going to be called Turks, Turks cheesy, cheesy Chicken, chicken Sticks. sticks. So once we've got them, what we're going to do is... logs in there and then what we're going to do is get our melted butter that obviously has been melted in room temperature we are going to get our parsley and our garlic and add that straight into the butter we go, we'll do with just a touch of salt So, we're going to give this a whisk, and that is going to be our garlic sauce. And then all we're going to do with this is drizzle it over the top of our fine steak. So let's put this like this. So, so let's just give you a quick look at how it's meant to look. Lovely jubbly. They're going to go straight back in the oven for another 20 25 minutes and you're good to dish up. Right, right guys, it's been about 12 minutes, 15 minutes at 160 degrees. They look about just about done to me. Oh yeah, they're done. Oh my god, the smell. Woo! Oh, there you go. Turks cheesy chicken sticks. Let's just pan this round for you guys real quickly. So you guys can just get your eyeballs in them. Just get your eyeballs in them. Oh. Oh, oh, you know it makes sense. Oh, look at the ch mm. You know it makes sense, people. Oh my god. Look at the cheese on it. Look at the cheese on it. Oh, it's not easy being cheesy, guys, let me tell you. Cut into that bad boy. What's not looking at? That is what I'm talking about, guys. Ooh. Just melt in your mouth. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let me just Let me just try a bit of this real quick. You know what I mean? Get a bit of that chicken right there, right off the end. Get a bit of this garlic bread. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh! Let's have a gander on that. Chicken's all nice and cooked. Taste test. It's the old taste test. It's gonna be hot, I know that. 
오, 허, 음, 어, 허, 음, 음, 어, 허, 음, 음. 아, 맨날 롱 프라이즈 마이. 아, 어머, 세. 음, 음. 에, So guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a like. Don't forget to share with your friends and family. Hit that subscribe button right about there. Uh, watch my other video, how to make hummus. Let's go, mate. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my uh, cheesy chicken stick. Peace. Mmm.